<laughs> and now we're gonna go fight our first boss, I believe. Our first actual boss boss is in uh, Skyfell Tower. We're gonna go fight the bandit formal the bandit now known as Robin Hood, who is formerly known as Kandar. Because in the Game Boy Color version, he was known as Kandar, but apparently now his name is Robin Hood. Monster not too far away that's ready to be wrangled. So there is a monster somewhere in here that we can wrangle. That's pretty cool. Yeah, classic. <laughs> We got another chain sickle. Amazing 80 hyper, amazing 80 comfy. And if it looks like your uh your gift sub may have run out. And we also found out finding monsters we can wrangle for the um uh, arena thing we're doing is how we get new abilities on the monster wrangler. It's kind of cool. So I'm probably going to be keeping the, uh, the Wrangler, most likely. Yeah, Niv is unfortunately a freeloader. And Niv do be freeloading. That's the server dropped a treasure chest. It contained a copper sword. That's a free thing to sell. That's basically free money. The researcher guy standing over there. You see him over there? Corey, you suddenly fell flat on your face. And you fell asleep. The ring does not prevent you from falling asleep. Bedge, bedge. <laughs> I think these guys were called man bats on the Game Boy Color, and then the other ones we fought that were Vlad the Drac, I think those were just called vampires. A lot of the monsters in the game did not have like clever names to them. They were uh, they were basically just like direct translations. They didn't get all the clever and fun names until uh, the Dragon Warrior Monsters games. At least not that I noticed. It looks like they just went for the the direct literal translations for a lot of enemies, <laughs> or as close as they could get. Like I'm sure some of them got a little bit of a modification, like if it didn't make any fucking sense at all. Oh, that might be a barrel we can search over there. Hang on. All right, we're going to start running away from a bunch of this stuff. These are these enemies are a little weak for us because we did an entire section of the game early, it seems. Which is kind of my fault. I wanted to go see what was north, because there was another town. That turned out that uh, we ended up doing an entire section, uh, like an entire side quest. I think that whole like northern part with the fairies is optional. I don't think you have to do that for anything in the game. But we did get to find a whole bunch of cool items out of that. I got some a whole lot of EXP and upgrades, so it was worth it.
I know we're real healthy going into this place. Band of thugs led by a bloke named Robin Hood that call this tower home, you know. Just keep your wits about you once you start getting close to the top floor. Those upper levels are crawling with the bladers. Vial of magic water. We definitely figured out where, uh, where Robin Hood is hiding. We gotta get the crown back to the king of Romaria. Because apparently... Uh, Robin Hood stole it. So we gotta go fuck his day, his day up to get the thing back. <laughs> Vladdy D. You guys see the rats? Look at them. So many fun little details in this game. Just all the little detail work pieces are just so good. Skyfell Tower may be swarming with monsters, but one can navigate it with a surprising ease if one focuses on each fiend's weaknesses. Some monsters are weak to fire spells, such as Frizz and Sizz. There are those that will not, which will not last long when assaulted with wind-infused incantations like Whoosh. In summary, different fiends have different vulnerabilities. Doubtless, your companions will work out what attacks to use against which enemies in due course. You simply need to apply the right tactics. That's a lot of bullshit. Good, we got away. Not want to deal with all that. Yeah, when we walked into the building, we got a tutorial. So I'm thinking, I think we were supposed to come right here after getting to Koriv, but we went north to Norvik. Because it gave us the tutorial about status conditions. sure you can jump off the edges of this tower so we do need to be careful of that oh that's a lot of shit the fungals
Well, that went down pretty easy. Four. Can I do something for you, Cat? Oh, I think I see our new friend. It's a bubble slime. She's wandering around. I don't know what she, I don't know if her bowl is empty or what, but she's looking for dinner at 11 o'clock at night, and that's not going to happen. Cat's turning into a bit of a glutton because I keep. I keep her bowl filled and she's like, I need more food. And like, no, you don't. There's... All you did was eat a hole in the middle of the bowl. You don't need more food. You need to eat what's in there. It's one of those, I'm not rewarding the behavior because then she'll keep doing it. New friend? Slooper. We got Bub. Bub has joined the team. We got another wizard staff. Junk. We can't. No, none of our, none of our party members can use that. at level 13. God, there's so many enemies on this floor. There, let's get... <laughs> so vigorously rub yourself down with holy water. <laughs> Let's just keep the weaker enemies at bay. Then we will only fight the enemies that are worth fighting. Which means it's probably going to be only other pillars now. Or he starts to sing and dance like an absolute joker. Classic Hori. Change it to where we're only fighting actu actually powerful enemies. Or he starts acting like a jackass.
Got a seat of defense. 48 gold. More cash for our ever growing cash stack. Oh, Hori elected to attack this time. one alive send it a message and, and like it's deathbed it's barely alive level 12 Oh, I can put things to sleep now. I got snooze. Wrangler did not learn a new ability yet. I got two inside sections to check on this floor. Another bronze shield. Can anyone use that? Only Andranos can. else up here. Okay, so Bub was our only guy we're gonna get here. I don't wanna fight this. Shit. I guess we're fighting it. I'm not going to keep just trying at this point.
That's a new one you've been doing, Hori. Sometimes you'll tap your foot to the rhythm of battle and then you become very dodgy. We had to put you at the back line because you ended up being the person with the lowest defense on the team. So when you were in the second spot, you were just getting your absolute shit pushed in. get to use sobering slap. The heal slime heal its own wounds. Did you <laughs> You tried to hypnotize the heel slime and you hypnotized yourself into hallucinating? Hori, what the fuck? <laughs> supposed to do that to the enemy, not yourself. I got reversed Uno card. I can't do shit against that. <laughs> Not gonna lie, your character's starting to remind me of Aqua from Konosuba. Why do we have you on the team again? <laughs> this has been home to the world's great bandits for generations. Ah, just feel the history. A singular gold coin. A strong medicine. isn't phased in the slightest. <laughs> Party members start to hallucinate. Fantastic. Okay, but at least it wasn't Andronos. He needed to actually hit so we can get past this fight. <laughs> oh, Hori hit 14. 120 luck. It's a lot of luck stat.
Oh, here we go. Dictates character's ability to bear force of physical attacks. Resilience reflects the character's basic resistance to physical blows. Agility is given the character's chance. Character will get their chance to act in battle. Stamina governs how quickly the character's HP will increase. Wisdom governs how much damage a character's spells deal. But higher wisdom also allows a character's MP to increase at a faster rate. Luck governs how much damage a character's physical attacks deal. It also influences a character's chances of scoring a critical hit, as well as how likely they are to avoid getting afflicted with status ailments. Oh, well, that's what that does. Okay. Oh, and they actually have it in here where it explains all the different personalities, too. They got a pretty extensive tutorial system in this. I like that. All that information's there in the game. That's good. Well, that high luck is paying off for you, Hori. I don't want to fight this. I don't want to. Oh my god, I'm the I'm the out of here. Please, thank you. I want to. I don't want to battle all that shit. That was with holy water. It's even with the holy water, still running into a bunch of fucking and a million fucking piles of bullshit here. Three gold. Oh, there's another pot over here I can search. Hang on. Got a pouch of musk. Those are logs. I was like, what the hell is all that? We got a prayer ring. What does that do? Pious man that can be used to restore a small amount of MP. However, be warned, it's likely to break if called upon. Oh, that's an actual, like... Use item, not an not an accessory. That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, shit! Why are they making so many fucking desperate attacks? Stop that!
Pile of magic water. Fucking crabs in suits of armor. I'm sick of them. Metal. Definitely go turn those in soon. Oh, you lot! Looks like we got some unwanted guests here! <laughs> oh, just what we need. We better let the boss know, eh? Take a quick look around and see if this room has anything on it. There's probably at least four of them because there's four beds. There he is. <sighs> We're in the crown. You done all right making it this far. But if you think you're gonna catch me that easy, you got another thing coming. See ya. <laughs> I can't believe we fell for that. It's the oldest trick in the book. Got a skull ring. That sounds cool as fuck. Perfect for those who aspire to being a lone wolf someday. Run free and look good doing it. That's probably cursed. A ruby wristband. Adorning supersized stones like this will turn the wearer into a show off instantly. So that's everything. So they must have jumped here. Oh, yep, there he is. Give up, do ya? What are you doing up there? Get down. Well, if you want a piece of me, let's go. His big ass axe. <laughs> Those dudes are gold. Robin Hood and the Robin Hoodlums. Alright, so they're all individual dudes. Let's get rid of all those ads first. See, can we do any buffs or debuffs here? Let's see how that'll do. Tori can all hit all four of them. Big crit on him is pretty good. <laughs> Fucked that one particular guy up a lot. Ready now. Ow. 
Ow! Be nice if we had Kabuff or something so far, but it doesn't look like we do. Ori grins from ear to ear. Vixen smug. <laughs> oh, big hit. Oh, he's weak to fire. Him with another flame slash. Uh. Oh, you actually attacked this time, and you took one of them down, even. Hundred and one damage. <laughs> Mizuki. Now Robin Hood's starting to hurt. You can see he's starting to hurt there a little bit. Hori off her deathbed. Yeah. Another big crit. <gasps> okay, all the hoodlums are dealt with. This one, this went well. Yeah. I remember this being a very difficult fight if you were not, like, playing the game right. I'm definitely better at the game than I was as a kid, because he used to do, you know, upwards of... Oh, I just one-shot your homie there. Sorry. Boom. Boss defeated. Big EXP. Nobody leveled up from that, though. All right, all right, it's a fair cop. I'll give the poxy crown back. Just let me go, will ya? Fine. Cheers, ears. <laughs> Would you, Adam and Avery? We're free, boss. I love the mannerisms of these guys. Just need to find somewhere to lay low, and we'll be back in a bees and honey before you know it. It is he, Robin Hood, the bandito. Think that's our cue, boss? When it bleeding rains. Oh, the guards caught up to us. <laughs> You're a saint, though. Be lucky, eh? Sada! <laughs> He's fucking gone. <laughs> He's fucking gone. Nah. Me perdoni. They fled before we could capture them. I see. Well, at least the crown is in safe hands. Ire will be most pleased. Hero of Aliahan. Your help was most of Italy in securing the crown. Please deliver it to our king yourself. He will want to thank you personally, and I'm sure the outpost will be reopened soon after. But, Commendatore, that is not enough. Ah, uh, see, see. How could I forget? Even once the outpost reopens, you will need the Chiave Magica, the magic key. Were it possible, 
I would love nothing more than to hand it to you myself as your reward. I really like how they like seamlessly slide in, you know, the various languages, the different places you go to speak. It is just, uh, well, I'm as sure as to its location, you see. Actually, I have heard it is hidden in the desert to the south, within the Great Pyramid. Davvero? I suppose that would make sense. Now, my men and I must return to the castle al più presto. I swear we will repay you someday for this kindness. The best of luck looking for the key. May the goddess go with you. <laughs> Not forget the crown. Look at that! It's the king's crown. You can put it in the equipment bag? It doesn't mean you can wear it. You can't equip the crown as actual gear, that's pretty funny. Back to Ramaria to turn the crown in. Since we beat Robin Hood. Got his ass beat. the reward you got for doing this is still a thing. It's gonna be interesting to find out in just a second here. Oh, I got stuck on the little kid. I was like, what the hell? Why can't I move? An NPC stand in there is why. Uh, can it really be true? Have you brought our crown back to us? Hero indeed, worthy of a realm of your own to rule, deserving of a crown. Will you take the crown of our dear country in my stead? Hmm? It weighs so heavily upon my brow. <laughs> Ascent, and I will abdicate immediately in your favor. Uh, so, will you accept the priceless gift I offer? Sure. You will do it? You will become king in my place? <laughs> Very well! All hail the new king of... But what am I saying? You are a lady. A lady cannot become king. But queen, on the other hand... Hmm, you would be the first in Romarian <laughs> history. And there must always be a first, no? They did update this because you used to only be able to get you'd get you'd be you used to be able to become king if you were playing the male hero. You couldn't take you didn't get this reward for playing a female hero, but now it's like now it's like, but wait, you could be the first queen. Yes, I am a genius. Woman or not, it was you who defeated Robin Hood, a victory worthy of a mighty monarch. <laughs> Very well, it shall be so. A queen is born. Long live the queen. Viva la regina. Does the other queen get, does the actual queen get to have any say in this? Stop. 
Oh no. I must thank you for acquiescing to the king's uh, eccentric demands. However, I am well aware that you are an important mission of your own. Should you find yourself needing to return to your travels, visit the monster arena. That is where you will find the former king. You see, the king has shirked his duties to go and watch the monsters more times than I can count. I am certain he is in the arena. <laughs> Speedo, I queen specs. My husband, the previous king, he was a good leader. But he does not notice the small things, the details, see? I look forward to a truly enlightened reign. <laughs> Ramari, a town is a city most fair. The queen of a beauty that's beyond compare. Oh, wonder, mag wonderful, magical, beautiful queen. Sent by the goddess to rule us serene. I can't even tell what he's saying on that one. You're a new queen, Spec C. Then, by order of the royal guard, I must ask that you not leave the town, Majesty. As I do for your own for his own. <laughs> of all the dialogue changes. <laughs> Oh, why, you were the queen. My dismiss, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, even the queen can't open that door. I give uh, this guy a pardon? Mizuki, stop. Get off my desk. Go lay down. They've gone and made you Queen of Amaria, have they? A girl running a country. Corp, blimey, we're living in the future now. Hang on, though. Can you let Robin Hood escape? What kind of loonies are they? A soft touch like you in the reins. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not giving him a fucking pardon anyway. You fucking sit in that jail cell and rot, you stupid piece of shit. Yeah, I don't know what she wants, Worry. She probably wants more food and is like, oh, My bowl is empty. Or I can see the bottom of it. Can it be indeed be you? You've become preeminent. Ah, you seem also as the queen of this country. I, in fact, I am. For the moment, at least. <laughs> ah, he made you queen in this place. He still can, so still he cannot mend his foolish ways, huh? Poor Samisaria. <laughs> so this is definitely one of the funnier rewards you have for completing the story elements of the game. Is you become queen, you become king or queen of the entire country. I, I, but wait a second, hang on, I can't. But. I have to go fight the Archfiend. Not only am I hounded by the wife by the wife in my home, now I am to be ruled by a woman in my place of work. I may actually have to do my job. <laughs> I've heard the tale of how the mighty Specs bested Wicked Robin Hood and returned the crown to our kingdom. You are indeed worthy of ruling us, your majesty. I like how they keep it realistic that there's people that are like, What? Really? 
this is how things are gonna go now? I do, I do enjoy that. And then how they immediately go, uh-oh. The sun, the moon, the ground beneath our humble shoes. Let's go greet my subjects. The first queen of, Rom of Romaria. Your beautiful person upon our throne, our country is surely destined for greatness. It's spiked hair that liked to visit the fountain that night vanished recently. Do you know anything of this majesty? Ah, uh, no, why would you say? What would make you think I do? Hey, you can't leave town when you're queen. Can't go on adventures. The queen herself has come to see an old nana such as me. Grazie, master. See, grazie mille. <laughs> Wonder if you might, for a nobleman nearing the end of her days, perform a small favor? Sure. Does the signor to whom is charged the care of the castle flower beds? He shirks his duty. The gardens there, remembrance of our former queen consort, rest her soul. Let them go to seed would be an insult to her memory gravely. Per favor, you must tell him. No, order him. The flower beds must be weeded. Okay, you can consider it done. Long live the new queen. <laughs> Take care, your majesty. <laughs> Has the hero still not come from Eliahan to save us? This is strange, no? I am the hero from Eliahan. Just now I'm also the queen. You're doing speaking with the likes of my humble self. Ah, but since you are here, let me tell you something that may be of use. If you ever should wish for a cloak of evasion, look no further than the village of Norvik. Though I would not wish for you to conceal your form, so easy upon the eye as it is. Most of these people realize I'm, you know, 16, right? They know this, right? Like, my character is only is only 16. Like, calm the fuck down, you thirsty pieces of shit. I beg you to please be saving the village of Norvik from its terrible fate. You say that the curse has already been lifted. You are a great monarch indeed. Yeah, I'm just that good. Don't worry, I already saved the town. Already did it. Talk to the doggo. Boop, boop. So who do we need to talk to about the, uh... I wonder if we can do anything about that for the old lady. And get the, uh, the garden beds weeded. I wonder if it's the guy we can't talk to that's in that back room there. That we need the we need to get the magic key to be able to get into. I wonder if it's that guy. Maybe we need to have the magic key and be queen to go talk to that guy to get that salt resolved. Perhaps that's what needs to be done. I'm pretty sure you could become queen, though. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure you could, because I normally played the female character in this game. Hmm. 
We must lower the taxes. We went down the stairs here not long ago. <laughs> You could have knocked me down with a feather. I look round and the queen is standing right there. Talk about a surprise. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, Your Majesty. We do great business here and we hope to continue. Ah, <laughs> oh, you appear to be very wealthy indeed. For favor. <laughs> Feel free to spend as much money as you please. Please forgive my dissent, but this is no place for a queen. I suggest you leave before someone sees you here. What honor, what privilege that you would spectate today. Please, this way. The best seat in the house awaits. Huh. That may be long and bestow great bounties upon your loyal subjects. Well, thank you. What in the goddess's name are you wearing? Uh, your queen here now? Well, if that's the case, I imagine you got all sorts of royal duties to be attending to. You must be mucking about in the monster arena. You're here as a partner tournament? I'm terribly sorry about this, but I cannot allow the queen to partake in our common or pastimes. Please, abdicate the throne first. Queen Specs, I, uh, long live the queen. doing in such a place as this. <laughs> I never really understood the whole, you know, the, the royals can't partake of the same thing as everybody else. The whole putting on airs thing never made sense to me. Come to watch the monsters fight it out, eh? Me too. In a finer sport out there. Mutter mumble. It's so, so very beneath your station. Me? Why, I've merely come to see how the other half live, of course, as I'm sure you view. Well, met friend, it is I, the former king. May I say, being a commoner is more fun than I had imagined. You tried your hand at these monster fights, it's most amusing. Ah, but don't let our kingdom fall to ruins now. How goes the governing, anyway? Is the throne your liking? Well, our paths cross again soon, until then have fun. Abdicate the throne. Sir, you, you really do need to get back to your job. Ah, uh, well, I cannot in good conscience allow you to continue it if it does not make you happy. It was brief, but a small break from kingship just, was just what the doctor ordered. And I was in this myself, but it seems you are quite the well-loved ruler, Spex. It's a shame that you relinquished your crown so soon, but I hope that the experience was a valuable one. Just between ourselves, I too have served as sovereign. Five times, in fact. If you wish to experience royal life again, I'm sure his majesty would be more than willing to accommodate you. you ever traversed the desert south of Remaria? Believe it or not, there's a kingdom down that way. I have not. Was first travel east of Romaria, then circle around the southwards. And there in the right place you can see is miles and miles of desert. To the kingdom of Ibis we go then. And I had so wished to see how our dear country might blossom under a young queen such as yourself. Well, maybe after I defeat the Demon King I'll come back and rule Romaria. Perhaps then me and the homies will come back and rule the world. Oh, silly. 
Alright, where's the church? We need to save our game. Really get late. Do, 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 do. I have to save our game. Yes. 